Well, I'm up at Government House with uh, Bill Dale, who's about to get the BEM. Bill, it, it's a great story because, you know, so many people love what you do, and clearly you've been nominated for this. How do you feel when you first found out? Wow. Um, a sense of shock, really, Paul. Um, <laughs> To be honest, it was quite a funny story because the, the phone was ringing. I'm, I'm, I'm a person who keeps my phone numbers private. And the phone rang several times about over, over a couple of evenings. And it just said uh, no caller ID on it. And I thought, you know, this would be somebody selling me car insurance from Middle East or, you know, yeah. India or somewhere. And then I looked at my voice messages on the second night and it was the His Excellency. And he said, could you please ring me? And I thought, Dale, get in touch. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I wonder what I've done wrong this time. <laughs> and, uh, and he just told me that um, I'd been um, nominated and given the honour by the Queen and uh, you could have knocked me over with a feather. It's something, though, I was saying, it, it's, it's just grown and grown and grown. There's such good will out there Fantastic, for you. fantastic. And, and you're getting the support, people turning up. It's become a social event, hasn't it, for a lot of people? It has. Um, I mean, we passed only just uh, about 10 days ago the 7,000th official volunteer. So that's 7,000 different volunteers since 2013. Did you have any idea when you started? Not a clue. <laughs> you came along, I think, in the very early days, in about 2013, yeah. uh, to the beach at, uh, the, at Smale, I think it was, for the first time. Mm -hmm. and we had maybe 40 or 50 people there and if you'd said to me then we'll end up with say 500 volunteers I would have been absolutely really pleased but to end up with 7,000 is just staggering. Has this idea gone elsewhere? I mean other people seeing what you're doing to say we should be doing this on our own place? I mean, the, they come to you for advice? The, the best thing that's probably ever happened to, uh, to Beach Buddies is the biosphere reserve status because Dr Han Chun Lee who's the head of, of UNESCO Biosphere actually said that Beach Buddies had found something which he thought could be used around the world. Wow. So we're, we're trying to roll that out. I mean, obviously there's a restraint on, you know, we, we bring in 20,000 pounds a year. I mean, how can you possibly send out a worldwide or a message on that basis? But he has offered us a web page uh, on their website, which is to go on the UNESCO website. Uh, That's amazing. amazing. Now, has amazing. it taken over your life? I mean, uh, did you ever think it was going to take over your life? It's probably it's the question I should ask. Um, <laughs> I didn't intend it to take over my life, but I have to say, in, in a very nice way, it has done. Um, because I don't go through any day without something happening or needing to empty a bin or to organise an event or speak at schools. We've just started a new education programme. Um, it's, to be honest, I look on it as, and I genuinely mean this, as a privilege to be able to go to talk about something that I'm passionate about. And for people to actually sit and listen <laughs> and to smile sometimes and say nice things, it is very nice. And, and we get donations from completely, complete strangers who just love what we're doing. And uh, you know, my aim really would, I'd love to be, say in five, 10 years, be able to leave this organization where it brings up insufficient income, mostly through the BINS project, mm -hmm. so that I could say, there it is, hand it over, and have a couple of jobs for a couple of people, so that the Isle of Man is protected forever, whatever the people are throwing in the ocean, and then try to expand it around the world. I, to be honest, I want to expand it around the world far quicker than that. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I do intend to do that if I get the Watch chance. Watch the space, as they say, on that. Well, I would like to, I'd and really like to do that. How are you gonna feel then, this, this title? Wow. This very good friend of mine is an MBE. It hasn't affected him in the slightest, and it won't affect me either. Well, you know what? I, I, what I look on this is, it is very nice for me. Okay, of course it is. But the, the one thing that I, I've said all the way along is this is something that's shared. Hmm. This is for everybody who's involved in Beach Buddies. It's even for the people who are not coming on our regular, uh, on our regular event on a Sunday morning. The people who, who just throw things in our bins, anybody, everywhere. And we know there are thousands and thousands of them. We've probably got more than 10,000 people involved in beach cleaning on a regular basis, just on their own be, on their own doorstep yeah. and some people are now adopting it's beaches. inspiring people, yeah. And I love this idea people can take ownership almost of their bit of That's right. the, the beach there. And it's given people a little bit of power, you know, people, you, you can't make many changes in the world these days, but by picking up people's rubbish, you can. Inspiration. It's been great. I have to say, the only thing we, we worry about this picture was that there was something wrong with it and we worked out it's because we're wearing a tie. <laughs> <laughs> and you. Oh yeah, me. <laughs> a rare thing. It's very rare. Normally right? t-shirts and jeans on the beach. I know. Well, congratulations. Thank you Mason. very much, Paul. And well deserved. And thank you for all the support you've given us. Brilliant. Awesome. Thank you.